Hey, did you know that the average price in December of a semi-detached home was down 24% year over year, but the average price of a condo apartment was up 5%? Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs with Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center, and this is our monthly market update video. All right, so to say 2022 was a wild year in real estate would be quite the understatement. Prices were at all time high at the end of 2021 and just kept going until March when the Bank of Canada decided to start raising interest rates and as the war in Ukraine really ramped up. The average price of a home fell by nearly $400,000 from February to December, representing a 27% decrease in the average price of a home in the market. However, it's important to keep this in mind that the average price also increased from 100 by 150,000 from December 2021 to February 2022. And December 2022 was still $100,000 higher than the average price in December 2020. All right, there are five primary housing types that we track in New Market which are detached homes, semi-detached homes, townhomes, condo apartments, and condo townhomes. In December, of the 50 sales we had, 29 of them were detached homes, which had an average sale price of $1,194,000, representing an 18% decrease from December 2021. Well, the average price of a semi-detached home was down 24% year over year. The average price of a condo apartment was up nearly 5%. Now, this is a pretty wild stat and it's certainly due to demographic changes and more demand for condos, but also the more accessible price point. All right, so what happens next? Well, that's going to be a combination of two things, interest rates and inventory. The Bank of Canada holds interest rates. That could be a signal to buyers that they're not going to see interest rates rise and that could bring more buyers into the market and then on the other side if inventory starts to increase then we could start to see some downward pressure on prices as buyers have more options to choose from all right however if you're a homeowner and you're waiting for prices to go back to where they were in february of 2022 you're going to be waiting a very long time interest rates have increased significantly and made the cost of home ownership a lot more than it was at the beginning of the year. The likelihood of us seeing rates that low ever again in possibly our lifetime is very small. All right, so that all said, the value of good real estate is always going to remain strong. So we're always encouraging our clients to really focus on good locations because a good location it will beat out a great house in a crappy location any day of the week. All right, we just put the finishing touches on our market report, The Market, which goes into a lot of details on the trends and what's happening in the local real estate market. And if you'd like to get a copy of this sent to your inbox, click on the link below to get it today. And if you or anyone you know is interested in talking real estate, know what's best for you and your family, give us a call. Me and my team would love to set up a meeting with you to talk about how we can help you get to where you need to go.